Yeah. Yeah. I, I you know, I've, I'm, I'm very fortunate. My mom is still alive at 92 and I speak to her every night at six o'clock on, uh, you know, we have a video call. And uh, the first thing she said, she had, I had such a good walk this morning. I went out, I did my circuit, seven circuits of the car park and up the stairs and, uh, and she, she'll do, and she says, you know, it's three and a half Ks or whatever it is. And I did two flights of stairs. I mean, honestly, that, that and then she said, and then I've got, I'm doing my yoga, my yoga class. So she has a, a, a yoga class that she follows on, on YouTube. And, and I'm convinced that's one of the re main reasons she's got to 92, because uh, she likes keeping herself in good shape and keeping mobile and, and uh, you know, able to go on walks and, uh, and to still drive a car. It's, uh, it's extraordinary. So that was, that's a good example for me to yeah, look up to. Wow. So uh, it's clear what, what the research says about exercise. I mean, various forms of exercise, but just getting the body moving has a huge impact on brain function. So um, yeah. 92, Nick. Fantastic, isn't it? Uh, wow. Fantastic. And every morning, every, every evening, we have, we have a, 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 you know, we pour ourselves a glass of wine. She's in, uh, in Cape Town. We're here in Meisner. We toast each other. Another nice day. Chat through the day. And a lot of what she talks about is, uh, is about her exercise, what she was able to do that day. And she's remained so incredibly positive about this thing. She's saying, she, she always, you know, ends up by saying, I can't believe how lucky I am, you know, that there's so many other people in, in the worst positions. And there's someone who looks on the positive side all the time. It's a fantastic attribute. So then just talking about that in terms of mindset and attitude, um, how much do you, I mean, I know that you're an enthusiastic and uh, an, uh, a born optimist as well, but you're not stupid like with your head in the ground. So, so how much do you think that uh, has aided in her, in her living to a, a phenomenal level of health at the age of 92? No, I'm absolutely convinced she's got, uh, she's got a lot of pride in her appearance. She wants to keep herself, um, you know, looking slim. She's always, she's always eaten quite carefully. She's never been on uh, any special diet. She's genetically quite tall and slim, but uh, she, she, she eats carefully and eats healthily, very healthily. Um, and and she's, she's always gone on a walk. She's always kept, uh, she's always kept mobile and, uh, uh, with her, she's never gone on, she's never been a marathon runner or a cyclist or anything, just walking. She absolutely loves walking. In fact, her major, her major accident was when she was 84 uh, and she was on a five hour walk up Table Mountain with a lot of people in their 60s. And uh, she, she fell off the mountain and had to be uh, airlifted off the mountain, broke six ribs, broke a, uh, you know, crack, fractured a skull. And got through that. And I'm convinced the reason she got through it and the reason she's still walking today is because she was physically strong when she went into, when she had that horrendous uh, fall, that horrendous accident. And, um, and it's amazing at 84, you know, you wouldn't, most people break a hip and they struggle to, to recover from it. You know, she broke her back, broke, her, broke, as I said, six ribs, fractured her skull. I mean, had two major operations and uh, was in ICU for six weeks. And, and came through all that and, and is, is, you know, 92 and, and, and counting, which is fantastic. I mean, that was amazing hearing that, but also her drive to want to get up. Um, and uh, it was just amazing that she had that fortitude to get up and, and, and go. So, um, yeah. Also, I remember I'm working on her when she had the frozen shoulder and, and her amazing recovery with that, it was, um, it was out of this world to see a 90 year old woman recover from a frozen shoulder in such a short time. That was brilliant. That was so quick. And she was in, and she'd been in a lot of pain for about five days. I mean, it was extraordinary. And within, I think it was close 48 hours. She had, her, she had, she was her both arms above her head and she, and she wasn't able to get it away from her side. I mean, it was incredible. So she was really, really happy about that. It was, that was just, sleeping badly and you know, having a you know perhaps a pillow in the wrong place had a bit of a crick in her neck and you managed to sort that out i mean it was fantastic she's she's um uh you know she's really very was very very great she couldn't believe it she was almost like a miracle worker you know because because it was so painful you know she could she couldn't get it away from her side or lift it at all 
and um, and and so that just shows that the, you know the if you get the right spot and you get the, get it all back in line and the and the nerve is you know under pressure or pinched, it can make a huge difference. And funny enough, that it it being in pain, being in constant pain, is very debilitating. You know, if you if you constantly if you constantly got a sore neck or a sore lower back or a sore shoulder, it is very very debilitating. And if you can avoid it uh, or, or have it you know seen to or make sure that it doesn't happen by going regularly to to uh, uh, for an adjustment, it makes a huge difference. Yeah. Well, Nick, that's amazing. Thank you so much for all your, your time and effort. Um, and besides uh, really enjoying your passion, and then we can see if we can uh, step up the level and get to 92, like your mom, it'll be a real <laughs> thing. So thank you so uh, much. It's a pleasure. And, yeah. and all the best, Nick. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, you keep well. Thanks so much. You